So what's the world of Bill Belichick right now? And does anybody know it? I mean, what, what do we what do we have with him? So, yeah, I, like I think Arthur Blank wanted to hire Bill the coach. I think the problem was, and we talked about this last week, I believe, right? Like, was that like everything else? It was, do I want to blow up my organization? And there were other people, you know, warning Blank about this and in his ear about this. Do I want to completely turn my operation upside down and make this a Patriot-like operation for what could only be two or three years? Now, I'd argue it's the greatest coach of all time. You should probably do it. You know what I mean? But, but it's a lot. And so I think that that sort of sets up as Bill's problem going forward is – you know, is there somebody, and I remember doing, you know, television producer I work with in New England asked me in the middle of the season, like, hey, go like ask around about Bill's market and find out what it was. And um, so I asked around and it wasn't, the answer I got wasn't what I thought I'd get, which was, is somebody willing to come in and have him in like the Bill Parcells in Miami role, where it's like the overseer, Tom Coughlin in Jacksonville the second time around, somebody probably hire him to do that. Will somebody hire him to coach? Absolutely. Somebody will hire him to just be the coach. But will somebody throw him the keys the way Robert Kraft threw him the keys in 2000? And the answer to that really has been no, you know? And I think that that's, that's sort of what I think Bill will be facing going forward because I do think he still wants to coach. So if he doesn't get one this year and it looks like he's not going to get one this year, then going into the 2025 hiring cycle, is he willing to do something that looks different than the way it was set up in New England? And can he present an owner with a plan where it's like, yeah, I may only be here for two or three years, but here's the guy that I'm going to hand it off to. Here's why it's going to work 10 years from now. Here's why you're not just buying into this for the next 24 months. I think that's the challenge for Bill now. And, you know, going in, and it sounds freaking insane, doesn't it? Like Trump, right. Bill Belichick trying to get a job in 2025, you know? Right, but I mean, he, he's gonna, I imagine, stay in football some way, shape, or form. Yeah, maybe he'll be sitting next to you. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I nobody you knows. Guys had a pretty good rapport, right? <laughs> well, I, honestly, he, he I, I saw firsthand how great at the gig yeah. he he would be and can be. So I just don't know. And then, um, and then why wouldn't anybody want to go and knock on his door? I, I was kind of surprised that uh, he did not get a job in this cycle, Albert. I mean, you know? I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if you see him like in the spring as like an assistant lacrosse coach at Wesleyan. <laughs> right? Uh, I mean, you know I don't know. I mean? Like, like right. uh, I mean, I, I like like honestly like I think I do think that there's like probably part like, of it for him. Are, are you saying him like was that your way of saying he'd be his daughter's assistant? Is that what you're saying? Albert? Yeah, well, I think she's at Holy Cross. Holy now, Cross, right? okay, so, that's where she is. Yeah, right. I mean, like, but it would be an opportunity for him. To, I mean, like, I just think he loves coaching, you know. And I, I, to the very end, Rich, to the very end in New England, the people I've talked to there, he's they said he did the job until the very, you know, the story about Nick Saban. What was it? Nick Saban was like interviewing receivers coaches the morning he retired, right? Right. It was like it was like that. Like Bill was doing the job like that up until the very end. I saw and, it. I saw it. Yeah. I was there for for his last win. I called his last win. I, I did a I had a production meeting with him. Yeah. He, he he just it was the same as any other meeting I've ever had with him. Yeah. For that sort of thing. Yeah. And so I think he's I think he I think he wants to coach again. Yeah. I think the shield record does matter to him. Um and I honestly like I think the failure of guys like Bill Belichick and Mike Frabel to get jobs is eye opening. And I think it does speak to something in the league right now where it's, I think like the atmosphere, like owners want to like coming to work. And I think that's sort of an overrated thing. Um, but owners like the idea of, Hey, like let's have like an uplifting environment and all of that. Like, and football's a tough game. You know, and there are guys who coach it in an old school way, and it does work if you can package it a certain way and sell it to players and have the right people around you. Um, but I see fewer, I feel like fewer owners are willing to go into, go in on something that they could, they perceive as old school than maybe you would have seen even three or four years ago. And I think that that's part of the reason why Vrabel was out in Tennessee, to be honest with you. I think Vrabel is one of the seven or eight best head coaches in football. But like, I think part of it was like, Amy Adams strong didn't like coming into work and like when the owner doesn't like coming into work, like that can create a problem. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, it can. This yeah. just in. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.